A student-based program here on campus has made some remarkable designs and you might be able to purchase them. And Pepsi has a new change to their product for the first time in 30 years. And the first Jackson interaction of the school year. All this and more coming up on NHS TV Live. Pepsi recently unveiled a redesign in their two liter soda bottle for the first time in 30 years. The bottle will be in stores beginning this week with an all new enhanced grip point at the bottom. Pepsi is also rolling out the new design to Pepsi owned sodas like Sierra Mist and Mountain Dew. This new bottle is a part of Pepsi's converting plan to change their packaging to be 100% recyclable within the next five years. With the new way to the soda easier to pour, Pepsi wants their customers to have a modern, functional bottle. The Northwest Ag students are building some incredible items. They are making certain designs and signs for the student-based program, Text and Designs. Mr. Edenfield is the teacher for this program and has helped his students make these significant items. Hi, my name is Lucas Edenfield. I'm the Ag Mechanics teacher here at Northwest High School. Uh, in this class, uh, we do a lot of building of, uh, projects and whatnot. Uh, some of the things that we're working on right now are a couple of trailers. We're going to be building also uh, some bottle cages that we store our oxygen and acetylene bottles in. Uh, we also run Texan Designs. Uh, what Texan Designs is, is a student-based uh, business that uh, we build things and uh, cut out signs and whatnot on our plasma table uh, for people that want to buy them. Students, if you are interested in buying any products made by Texan Design, send an email to lucas.edenfield at nisdtx.org. If you already started Christmas shopping, then these might be perfect gifts for a Whataburger fanatic. Whataburger just dropped their new holiday collection. The new hoodie blanket is available as well as the ugly Christmas sweaters. In-N-Out has also started selling holiday merchandise, such as some socks or their ugly Christmas sweaters. Of course, if you prefer chicken over burgers, don't worry, Chick-fil-A has some festive sweaters to choose from as well. Party like it's 1999? Well, at least that's what the Dallas Stars are doing. The Dallas-based hockey team has announced its release of the retro reverse jersey just in time for the holidays. For Stars fans, the new look should bring back some memories of the Stanley Cup glory with a redesign that, while in all-white fashion in 2020, has shades of the look Mike Madonna wore as he hosted the NHL's top prize over his head in 1999. These retro jerseys will be worn next season. The NHL and Adidas partnered together to make this happen, which represents a unique and historical moment for the Dallas Stars. Freshmen, the class of 2024 shirts are now on sale. You can order through the library or online through Hack. If you pre-order before November 30th, t-shirts are $15 and hoodie ours, hoodies are $25. They will be taking orders through the end of the month. And while there will be a few extra to sell in person, the only way to guarantee you get one is to pre-order. All shirts purchased after November 30th will be $5 more, making the t-shirts $20 and the hoodies $30. When you think of teacher's pets, you think of those straight-A teacher favorites. But what about our teacher's actual pets? Coach Morrow plays a big part of many students' lives. She's the varsity softball coach and a freshman English teacher. But when the working day is over, Coach Morrow goes home to her furry friend Louie, a dachshund puppy. He loves all the things she loves, like swimming, hockey, reading, yoga, hiking, paddleboarding, and rafting. He is a super energetic pup and always keeps Coach Morrow on her toes. Louie isn't Morrow's only pet. She also has an exotic bird named Smarty. He is extremely talkative, and he even says good morning and goodbye every day when Coach Morrow leaves for work. Smarty and Louie regularly play with one another, making them not just Coach Morrow's best friends, but each other's. <coughs> Teachers, if you are interested in having your pet on our show, please send photos, videos, and a description of your pets to at NHSTV on Twitter or email them to NHSTV at NISDTX.org. You guys sent in questions, and NHS TV reporter Ali Jo Owens sat down with Mrs. Jackson for this year's first edition of Jackson Interaction. Oh 
Welcome Texans. Thank you so much for joining us on our first edition of Jackson Interaction. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently this time. We're going to be taking questions that you as students have asked Ms. Jackson and be asking her those today. Um, so hats, will we be able to continue to wear those once COVID is over? Yes, we will. As a matter of fact, that is a change to our district-wide dress code. It has nothing to do with COVID or making a concession for COVID. We will be able to wear hats going forward. What about our belts? I've noticed that a few times they haven't been working. Is that something that we're ironing out, fixing? Can you tell it, me about that? Yeah, it's something that really uh, annoys our administrative staff as well. <laughs> yes, That's actually a new bell system, and so it has had some bugs in it, and so we've been working with district administration to get that addressed every time it comes up, but it, it kind of surprised us from time to time and just stops working. It has a mind of its own, but yes, we are working on it. So recently we had the bond mm -hmm. and everything and the voting did not pass. So I was wondering what that bond may like not passing means for Northwest and mm -hmm. what it means to students. Like why should we as students care about that? Now what does it mean for Northwest High School? Northwest High School had a, a big piece of this bond because uh, one of it, one of the provisions of the bond was we're going to completely redo this school, like completely remodel it. And so what that means is that project is delayed because the money for that project would have been contained in this bond. So what's going to happen is the bond committee is going to come back together. They're going to get feedback from the community. What are the things that you were concerned about with this particular bond package that we presented? And what are things that we need to tweak? They're going to go in and uh, tweak those things and hopefully present a new package that maybe we can put into the May election. So hopefully, I'm saying this as a Northwest High School person, hopefully that's going to be a delay in the construction rather than yes, just it not happening at so all. So we would, as a school, we would truly benefit from this bond. Oh yes, very yes, much so. Mm -hmm. All right, so kind of switching gears quite a bit. What about the bathrooms? A lot of times I've noticed that some of them, some of them are locked, some of them aren't. Mm -hmm. So what's the story behind all of that? There are certain bathrooms in this building that are not well supervised because they're kind of tucked back in corners and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yes, people who want to engage in what I call nefarious activities, uh, people who want to engage in behaviors they shouldn't, beha shouldn't do in a bathroom, want to find the ones that are tucked away and are not well supervised. So what we tend to do is we try to lock those ones down and direct people to the ones that are more visible so that we can have people out there watching what's going on. We also like to keep the ones open where there's good camera footage going up and down the hallway so that we can see who's come in and out of the bathrooms and kind of be able to keep tabs on it that way. So the, the idea is to isolate the behaviors to certain locations so that we can eliminate the behaviors and make all of our good, innocent students who come here and just want to go to the bathroom in a clean and decent place uh, be able to do that without having to worry about somebody vaping in front of them. So students, we need your help. If you have any questions that you would like to ask Ms. Jackson, please tweet us at NHSTV, hashtag Jackson Interaction, and we will hopefully get your questions on our show. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Our boys basketball team played yesterday against the Centennial Titans. It was a close game, with the final score being 38-45 to with the Titans winning. Also, our swim team has a meet today in Fort Worth right after school. Tonight, girls basketball has a game, so make sure to go and support them in the Texan gym against Weatherford at 7.30. Tomorrow's Gen Tech's day is military, so show up with your favorite military shirt. Have a fantastic Tuesday, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.